Hello and welcome to the Ralph Jones Mini Metro Movable Organ. This was given to me, advertised in the Electronic Organ Constructors Society. And I sent a very good friend up to Manchester, who does the journey regularly, to go and collect it. And she came home and said, got it all, ought to be go put in a skip. Well, you see, possibly it looks like it, with shotty pieces like this. But in actual fact, the whole thing is designed to be ultra lightweight. So although underneath it looks as though it's put together with shoddy brackets and so on, it's absolutely brilliant. Even the uh, pedal board is really lightweight. Never ever found a pedal board that you can actually pick up with one hand like that. And so although it looks quite, um, quite uh, uh, um, um, uh, the sort of thing that a woman would want to put in a skip, it was built with the most amazing ingenuity, left, right and centre. Even the keyboards, which as you can see aren't altogether uh, flat, are homemade. You can see the pieces of wood, perhaps, underneath there, and everything is completely homemade and goes to show um, exactly the dogged lengths to which anybody is, who is uh, wonderfully mad and determined enough to want to create a organ out of electronic parts. Um, it really does show the lengths to which they go. Um, he made these special top tabs um, deliberately um, out of um, homemade materials in order to get them narrow enough to fit into the, uh, the width of a mini metro. And so he developed these wonderful switch mechanisms. I don't know if you can see perhaps there where that moves down and puts two wires together. And the whole instrument is fantastically homemade, right the way down to um, inside. Here's a picture of inside um, with some circuit boards there. I don't know what they are. Some uh, just tuning generators, tone generators there. And then uh, uh, whole cards that literally uh, hinged one end and uh, um, slot in. Um, but he made everything right the way down to the tuning capacitors. And those are actually homemade out of copper foil. It's quite incredible. So um, I'm going to hand the camera over to a friend and we'll start to plug these connectors in. I did actually think we'd lost a circuit board, but in actual fact that connector down there was simply, um, was simply um, uh, it had obviously been opened up and not put together, and this was loose, so I thought we, didn't, we were missing something, but it was just tucked behind somewhere. So if we connect that up, things might start to work. So there's camera. Let's start to fold this back in and make sure we connect up all the connections. Um, here we are. Now, that one is a later one. This obviously is first row. Um, these are simply made out of uh, Vero board with, if you can come closer perhaps, Vero board with wires soldered onto them to actually make the connections. Unfortunately, you can see a bit of corrosion there, so I'd have thought that um, we can expect some problems with this somewhere along the line. But in principle, uh, it's fine. Anyway, let's just plug it in. And these look as though they're old computer, uh, uh, computer connect connector sockets. Right, that seems to have slotted in happily. Nothing else to slot in there. This is this electronic organ is based on individual tone gen generators for each note. And I think the, the uh, experts in this field call them free phase or organs. I can't say that I like electronic organs. Um, but, you know, the reason why I'm interested in this is because the pipe organ is in a parlous um, state of public appreciation. People don't listen to organ music anymore and people aren't going to church, they don't hear it. Children aren't involved in church choirs and so the organ is really, really dying out. So if one can take a portable organ of some description, but of course you can't do that really with pipes, um, into schools and introduce people to the variety that one can get with the instrument, then perhaps one's going to be able to start to increase public perception of the instrument as, as a musical instrument and of the amazing music that was written for the in instrument and not for church. Now, there is that connector. Um, 
I assume that that looks happy that way around. So let's put that in. He's even got a 32, 32 foot signal there. Look, sounds fun. Right, hopefully that won't short out on them. That one is the last one, I think. And that one goes here. So let's slot these into there. Everything is just so ingenious. Um, I think we're ready to close that up and see what it sounds like. I have had it running before, and I have to say a lot of it isn't working at the moment, and some of the sounds are quite hideous, so it's a matter of curiosity. Um, but one really has to admire the dogged determination and the extent to which everything is homemade. I've just hooked it up uh, very temporarily to an amplifier. Let's see. Oh, we've got a sound here. So, so on the choir, at Swell's Choir, Leiblich Flute. Let's put the swell pedal up so we can hear it. Dulciana. That sounds very electronic. Better at the top there. A flute, four foot. Nazard, piccolo, larigo. Larigo's not working. Fife. Is the clarinet working? Clarinet. Clarinet is obviously not, there's bad contact. Tuba. Um, not quite the volume of the tuba. Now, I wonder if pedal notes are working. Um, it's quiet. There's probably an adjustment somewhere. There's meant to be a 32 foot. We'll put swell to pedal. That's a bit strong, quiet pedal, swell to pedal there. Swell is here, let's see about those dots. Diapason. Um, oh, uh, the swell pedal is up, let's put it down. Uh, um, so we've got some bad contacts there. the Bois Celeste. That needs some tuning. A flute. I don't think we're going to be using this recital somehow. A double trumpet. Octave has a problem. Here's the trumpet not working. Oboe. Odd notes. Clarion. We'll probably have matter of tone filters there, bad contacts. Let's put some stops down. Great. Open diapason. Small open diapason. Flute. Viola. String sounds such as the viola are much easier to synthesize in this way. Octave, harmonic flute, super octave, mixture, trumpet, clarin doesn't work there. It's fine. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of a mad instrument and I uh, hope it might be made useful by somebody at some stage, sometime. Thanks for looking.